Hello, everyone. My name is Athena, and uh, I'm 24 years old. I live in Athens, Greece, and I'm a language geek. Also, I've studied languages in the university. My main languages are Turkish and Arabic, but I can also speak, of course, English, French, Spanish, and I can understand some other Latin languages as well. My name is Stavros. I'm, uh, I live in New York City, United States, uh, but I am from Thessaloniki, Greece, originally. And uh, I'm an attorney. It's great to meet everyone. So hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Nikos. I am 20 years old. I'm, from, I'm originally from Athens, but uh, permanently I live in Moscow now for my bachelor's degree. I speak fluently Russian. And currently, I'm studying at the university French and uh, Bulgarian. Ooh. Yes. Amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, so today, the video we're doing is very unique. It's very interesting. And we have it divided into a few parts. When you're ready, you can go ahead okay. and read the first one. So the first one is Omi Agar, Osa Pitopoli, Tameloda, Tizgeonosi. Could you maybe split so, it not into parts? Sure, sure, sure. So. Oh, yeah. Όμοι αγάρ, όσο επιτοπολεί, τα μέλλοντα της γεγονώση. Όμοι αγάρ, όσο επιτοπολεί, τα μέλλοντα της γεγονώση. Όσο όσο επιτοπολεί, τα μέλλοντα μέλλοντα της γεγονώση. As much as I can predict in the future, something like this. It's, it's not like, it doesn't refer to like me as a person or mm-hmm. it doesn't have like a, a verb actually in this sentence. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't have like me, you, no, nothing like this. Mm-hmm. It's more like, you know, uh, more, more simple, I would say. I, I can say it again, maybe like even like slower. Okay. Okay. okay Omia so. gar. Mm-hmm. Omia gar. Os epitopoli. Τα μέλλοντα της γεγονώση. Α, ah, it's Omia. Yes, it's yes, 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 yes. Ah, Maybe okay. I said it like, yeah, it's yes, one because yeah, yeah. I because I was thinking that it's like Omega. Ah, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, um, okay. And uh, right. me was like something from the dative, you know. The, the yeah, 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 I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, but it's not. Yeah. Okay, uh, Omia. Could the second half be. Um, the future of events almost like it has to do with events yes like some situation event let's say yes it has to do with that uh, maybe if you take the first word like omia we use it even in modern greek so yes like, omia. similar yes. yeah like similar things will happen mm-hmm. in the future yes yes you're very close now you're very close and now you need to remember this γεγονώση. This γεγονώση. Okay, it's of the very events. Mm-hmm. 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 You're very close. Like if you find this last word, you will find the meaning. Of the happenings of the events. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically you have said the sentence. I don't know if I can like uh, say the full sentence, uh, Bahador. I don't know. Because basically they have found the meaning, but not like they didn't say it all at once so So this is one thing i was going to say a lot of times when you have like a certain uh phrase or certain sayings Mm -hmm. or proverbs or things like Mm -hmm. this uh you may not be able to translate it exactly as it's supposed to mean so i I think i think you guys have it so if you want you can you can do that or you can you know try to like give them more tips or you can basically say how what the i guess the the meaning of it should be right is it like because they are the, mostly the same, the future of the happenings. If you take out because, okay. you don't have to put Gar. Gar is like, um, yeah. you know, gar can have a lot of meanings, like well. Okay. You know, well, they are the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where, well, they are mostly the same, the future of happenings. But I think I will take it as right, because uh, if okay. I can say it, it means that things that are going to happen 
have already have happened in the past in the same way. So you basically, ah, you, you both said okay. it. Ah, so, because but, it's yeah. um, the parakimenos. Uh, yeah, exactly. Know, but, ah, okay. exactly. Perfect. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yegonos is, yeah, it's parakimenos. Yegonos. I don't know also how to translate it perfect in English. I guess it's like past continuous, you yeah. know, but... Perfect, yeah. I would say perfect. perfect. Yeah, Present yeah, maybe. Perfect. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we don't use this form in ancient Greek. We would say echun mm -hmm. yini. So you, you, yeah. you found, yeah. I think... I, I think that's, Do you know yeah. where the proverb comes from? Yeah, you want to know? I... I, I would. I if it's within the rules. Day. <laughs> okay yeah i don't yeah. know Bahadur maybe <laughs> can say of, co of course of course i would i'm actually going to put uh where they come from in the description later so you're very oh, welcome perfect. to share it okay so this one comes i will say it in greek and then i will try to translate it somehow in english comes from uh, a book of aristotle which is called yes. uh i guess oh. uh, yeah in english it would be the nicomac in ethics somehow like this and you can't fully translate it because Nicomachia comes from the name of uh, Aristotle's father Aristotle's father mm. which was Nicomachos and ethics I think it's easy because like it's, it's used also in English the word like ethics. morals or ethics I'm yeah, sorry, morals. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wasn't he yeah. his uh, uh, son in I, I'm, not father I'm, I'm positive it was his oh. father maybe, maybe but I think it was his father I'm, some, someone who's uh, related to him. Yeah, least. that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> but I think I think it was his father because I studied this for you know Panellini's the, uh, <laughs> the exam. Okay. So I, I'm close to like being his father, you know. Okay. I'm not sure, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, that was the first one, and uh, I don't know. Should we? I think I translated this in English also, so maybe I can go to the second one. Uh, I will say it slowly, as slow as possible. So. Uto zin periplis to piteon, ala to f zin. Just once more, if you can. Sure. Uto zin periplis to piteon, ala to f zin. I understood completely the last part, mm. but the good life, something like exactly. that. Exactly. Yes, yes, it has to do. F zin means, yeah, good living. So I will I will say again the it, first. Yeah. If you want. Uto zin periplis to piteon, ala to f zin. Like if you add, uh, One, maybe two. this this will help you. If you say uk instead of u, it's the same. So maybe it helps now better. Is it like one does not live to do many things but to live a good life yeah 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 exactly exactly like and even more it means it's not worth it like life it's not about uh gaining more but about having yeah. a good life so you're you were mm -hmm. again very close exactly so that that's the meaning again <laughs> okay so this one is also like uh by a philosopher by plato of course i think everyone knows him but more specifically it's from a dialogue like one of his books and uh, in particular, Critias. And he was like a, an Athenian uh, politician. And he had a dialogue, you know, with Socrates. So Plato is always, you know, in most of his books, he's taking uh, a name of a philosopher or a politician. And he's referring to the book, like uh, to the dialogue that they had with Socrates. So basically, like, this is a quote from Critias, let's say. And Plato was the teacher of Aristotle? Yes, yeah, exactly. Socrates right. was the teacher of Plato and Plato the teacher of uh, Aristotle. <laughs> so we're yeah. compounding our knowledge. Yeah, our yeah, yeah. I put <laughs> I put the best, you know, I put like Plato, Socrates, <laughs> Aristotle, everyone. <laughs> I like yeah. it. So the third one, Polon de Athropon even Astea Kenon Egnon. Polon de Anthropon even Astea Kenon Egnon. Um, I have a question. Does the word astea mm. some, um, uh, refer to, to the asti, like the yes, CT? Exactly, it's in the plural, yes. Asti, mm -hmm. astea, yeah. Astea. Mm -hmm. um, can you repeat the first the part? Sure. Polon de anthropon even, 
πολλών δε ανθρώπων mm-hmm. είδεν. Many people As... know. Almost, almost. Yeah, many people is the first, like, πολλών δε ανθρώπων, yeah. Είδεν άστεα και νοών έγνων. Uh, many people have seen the cities, or... Almost, if you put it for another person, yeah. like, it's not many people saw. <laughs> it's in uh, another, you know... The city, seen, the city has seen uh, many new people. Almost. Um, like, okay, um, he's referring... Mm-hmm. Okay. The quote is um, referring to someone, like someone did those mm. things. So in the third person, you know what I mean? So. Even, uto even. Mm. Uh, uh, exactly, yes. Yes. Exactly. Um, he's so many people in the city. Almost, you're so close, yes. <laughs> mm, uh, like, the one with knowledge? Uh, like, uh, close, but not exactly. Uh, meaning, maybe meaning, noima? Yes, but if you think the root, like nous. Mind. Ah, the brain. The mind, yes. the mind, yeah. yeah. Mind. We, we use it too. So maybe you want uh, to say it again? Yes. Maybe to, to yes. Can you repeat the sentence? It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Πολλών δε ανθρώπων είδεν άστεα και νοών έγνων. He saw many people. He saw many, and yeah. People. Many cities. Και νοών έγνων. And um, new, mm-hmm. uh, new brains, new minds. You're, you're very close. You both are very close no. again. Like the meaning is he saw and he got mm-hmm. to know a lot of cities and a lot of different mindsets, Minds. let's say, like, mm-hmm. you know, in this way, l- mm-hmm. like uh, known, but uh, like mindset, uh, culture, let's say, you know, like this. Okay. But I think you found it, like, again, maybe the, the syntax is different. It's slightly dif- different in ancient Greek than in modern, so that's yes. why it doesn't help, you know, so much. But the meaning, you found it again. So I think I should tell you where it comes from. <laughs> Who, who is this referring to? Okay, yeah, uh, this one refers to Odysseus. It's from Odyssey, mm. from Homer. It's um, the first rhapsody, mm. like the the um, introduction, because uh, you yes. know the, the muse, <laughs> the poet, <laughs> and the muse. You know, they are saying that he saw and he got to know a lot of people and experiences because of his travels. Of course, you know that, like the Odyssey. So it's about Odysseus. <laughs> yeah. So this one was Homer, not a philosopher. <laughs> okay, so. Ή ουν θεούτον ο θάνατος εστίν, κέρδος έγωγε λέγω. Και γάρου δεν πλοίον ο πας χρόνος φαίνεται, ούτω δι είναι η μία νίξ. That's it. I picked up pieces. Okay, it's, it's, it's longer, long. so I will. I will say I the first sentence. It up. Yeah, for sure. Ή ουν θεούτον ο θάνατος εστίν, If it was their death, if it was their death. You're so close. Like, if death is like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. Mm. Because uh, the second word, un, we don't use it now, but it means like, again, it's like gar, you know, all of these Mm. little words in ancient Greek that they're just connecting words. Filler words. There's not really a a translation, you know. So, okay. So, uh, the other part is, Κέρδος έγω λέγω. Κέρδος έγω λέγω. He took advantage. He took advantage of it. He said. Uh, I said. I say yeah for sure. I say. Uh, advantage. Yes. Benefit. Yes. Correct. Ben- yeah. Benefit. Advantage. Yeah, it's the same. And uh, I think it's correct because like έγω is like me but this yeah in the end is like again one of these words that we can't really translate in modern greek so it's basically like that so mm-hmm. until now you have said if death is like this i think it's a benefit mm-hmm. so you guys found it and then now the bigger part is then pleon opas chronos fenete kegar uden pleon opas chronos fenete And uh, maybe the time 
Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Like the time doesn't matter anymore. Well, I just took the exactly, meaning. I cannot exactly. translate yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. It's exactly like that. Exactly mm -hmm. like that. I mean, you found it. And then there is a little bit more. Uto de ine in me a nix. Uto de ine in me a nix. It's it's not even one like one night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, maybe you you found it, but do you guys remember the whole like uh, paragraph? Let's say so we can say it all together. Maybe Oof. I don't know if you remember. Maybe I can say it again. Uh, no, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I read it again in ancient Greek, but you you found it. So let's do it all together. So, e un tiuto no thanato sestin kerdos ego gelego. Και γάρου δεν πλειον ο πας χρόνος φαίνεται, ούτω δι είναι η μία νίξ. Οκ. I know it's, it's hard because you can't see it. If you saw yeah. it, <laughs> yes. it's very simple. <laughs> it's like, if death is something like that. That is that way. And then uh, I think it's a benefit. I think it's a benefit. The time doesn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just one night one night yeah exactly exactly because eternity in this way is nothing but a single night yeah mm -hmm. and that's it okay and this is like from uh the apology of socrates i don't know if like mm -hmm. it's also a book by plato but it's actually you know when the athenians put to death socrates so he said these words before he dies actually and he's referring to death that's why I think that's it. So I don't have something They're else. the words of someone right before he was going to die. Yeah. Thinking yeah, yeah. about, I guess, the meaning of life. And yeah, exactly. Exactly. How it's so short. Mm. Exactly. That's why he said that eternity is nothing but the night. You know, like yeah. nothing. So I think that was it. Like uh, my three sentences and the paragraph. I don't know. How, how did we do? What do you think? <laughs> I think it was really, really interesting. And I'm, I'm very impressed with how well you guys managed to, to get that because it's like, a, uh, you're talking about an ancient language, right? And mm -hmm. you're not seeing it written. Like if you see it in front of you, yeah. it would make it easier. But when you just hear it, then it's very difficult, especially when it's like a saying, you know, it's not just like regular. It's not like, oh, I'm going to buy something from the grocery store. You know, it's not, it's not those kinds of like sentences, right? So it's a little bit more challenging. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, in my opinion, you guys did a really great job and it was really wonderful. So thank you. Oh, we thank, I thank you. I don't know. <laughs> I guess there is, but I thank you so much for the opportunity because as I told you in the message, like I've been watching your videos two or three years, like for so long. So I was like, oh, he only does videos in Canada with people that are like based in Canada. So I was like, no. <laughs> but then because of the pandemic, you are using the Zoom. So I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy as well. Doing the videos online now uh, makes it easier for people from all over the world to join us. Whereas before it was like, oh, people in Toronto only. Or yeah. you know, there were a few cases where people traveled to Toronto just to be part of a video. But now yeah. it's sort of like, oh, you know, you can be anywhere in the world and, and be a part of this. So, <laughs> yeah, I think that's so nice. I have even seen like languages that I didn't even know that exist uh, because of your YouTube channel. So it's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. And it's great because, you know, it, it broadens like the scope of what you can do. And also, you know, like you said, there are languages that are in danger, the languages nobody has yeah. even heard of before. And we get to feature them and at least bring some uh, awareness to those languages. So that's great. Wish, thank you. Like, that's so nice. <laughs> that's so nice. No, it's it's, it's like, really like, nice because we can build bridges between nations. Because I saw many videos between a Serbian and an Albanian, yeah. between a yeah. Turk and an Armenian. Turkish and Greek, yes. which will, it's Turkish like a really Greek, important thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's needed, it's needed. Yeah, actually the Turkish and Greek one, I'm so happy and, it, it, you know, very, very impressed with how positive the uh, reaction has been. Uh, because it's been watched a lot, but you know the overall uh, reception and the commentary is just very, very positive. So that's from both sides, which is great. Which is great to see. I think the people are okay with each other. You know, like it's about politics and stuff. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you again. I really oh, hope you enjoyed thank it. Thank you.
I enjoyed it so much. It was so much fun. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, again, like it, it was it was a pleasure for me because, you know, Greece and the Greek history is something that I love. And I went to Greece back in 2016. So I'd love to love to visit wow. again in the future. So yeah, you should. And when you come, you like should. I will be here probably. I don't know, Nikos and Stavros, maybe not. But if you come, text me to guide you, you know, in Athens, Thank probably you. other places. Thank <laughs> no, it's you. my pleasure. For sure. for sure. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. It was so nice thank meeting you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet for you all. this opportunity. No, thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you guys for being a part of it. Thank you too. Have a wonderful day. And you evening. too. Good morning there. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, take care. Bye. You too. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.